GST 104, the use of library. I am Dr. Angela Ibeno Mala. Module 2, Unit 2, Literature Review. Literature review is a critical analysis of related literature to a research topic. It is not just a critical analysis of related literature, but also a summary of all available literature that are related to your research topic. The importance of literature review. Literature review can help the researcher to achieve the following with ease and speed. Choosing of appropriate research topic. Preparation of adequate research plan based on what others have done. Formulation of reliable objectives, research questions and hypotheses. Designing of appropriate research methodologies and data collection instruments. Some questions you may want to ask yourself as you review your literature are what is known about this subject? Are there any gaps in the knowledge of the subject? Have areas of further study been identified by other researchers that you may want to consider? Who are the significant research personalities in this area? Is there consensus about the topic? What aspects have generated significant debate on the topic? What methods or problems we identify by others studying in the field and how might they impact your research? What is the most productive methodology for your research based on the literature you have reviewed? What is the current status of research in this area? Now let's look at the steps in developing a literature review. Once a researchable topic has been chosen, there are four other steps in developing a literature review. The first is literature identification, analyzing the literature, synthesizing the literature, and writing the review itself. Now let's look at it one after the other. Literature identification. This involves the selection of relevant resources to your chosen topic of interest which could be in different formats. Bearing in mind the three basic types of information resources discussed earlier in Module 1, Unit 2, you may also need to identify relevant databases and open educational resources or you are needed in the course of your research. Databases and OER will be discussed extensively in Module 2, Unit 3 and 4 respectively. Google Scholar, Academic Info, Infotopia, and LibGuides are some scholarly research search engines that may be beneficial to you. A more comprehensive list of search engines with their links can be found in your courseware. Analyzing the literature. This begins with the skimming of each article in order to know its general purpose and content. The scheme will enable you to group the articles into categories, that is into topics and subtopics. As you read each article, please take note of the following. Decide on the format in which you will take notes as you read the articles. Define key terms. Take note of the differences in which key terms are de defined. Select useful statistics and quotes as you read. All quotes must be accompanied by page references. Evaluate the article by emphasizing on the strengths and weaknesses. This will help you to avoid just mere summarizing what you read to critical analyzing of each article. Critique the research methodologies used in the studies and also distinguish between assertions and actual research findings. Now let's look at the second step, synthesizing the literature. This involves the reorganization of the notes taken during literature analysis. When reading through the literature, the notes taken may be disjointed. Now with your focus on your purpose, 
your opinion on the topic, reorganize your notes. Tips in synthesizing the literature. Create a topic outline for your arguments. Justify your line of arguments. Reorganize, recognize and take note of differences among studies as you build up your arguments. Indicate also areas that may need more research and describe relevant theories. Take note of major trends or patterns that can lead to generalization across studies. It is also important to take note of existing inconsistencies across studies as you read. Identify gaps in the literature which you may address as you plan and write your review. Note the relationships among studies and use this as a framework to discuss relevant studies. Remain focused on your topic as you review article, ensuring that you use articles that are relevant and directly related to your topic. Evaluate your reference, your references for currency and coverage. Evaluate your reference list to ensure that it is up to date and has reported the most current work. A typical review should cover the last five years. However, landmark studies that have helped shape the field of study can be used. Now let's look at writing the review proper. In the actual writing of the literature review, you must adhere to an established order to ensure coherence. Tips in writing the review. Start the writing of your review by indicating the broad problem. Justify the need of the review. Cite specific and relevant references used. State areas your literature review will cover at the beginning. State your point of view early in the review. Your essay must be clear and cohesive, integrating all key details of the literature. Thank you for listening.